few weeks ago, I mentioned in one of the vlogs that we were struggling to keep the fire going all the way through the night, which is true. Um, and we're, we're getting up proper early as well with a puppy. So um, yeah, we struggle with some embers and sometimes we get it going, but it's really hard work. Someone left a very nice message um, that they enjoyed the vlog. We were basically saying, had we considered like night briquettes? So the very kind people at Le Lecto. So they sent us through some samples to let us have a go and see what we think. So yeah, all we want to do really now is just try it out, see what it's like, see if it works. Um, like I say, we've always liked a wood fire. Back in our, um, we used to have a house, we used to have a cottage out in Kent, and we used to have a, like a big wood, wood fire that we used to light every night. It was fantastic. I remember some great Christmases in front of that fire. So um, yeah, looking forward to trying it out and letting you know exactly what they're like. So as Tony said, we were given a lot of um, an opportunity to try out night bricks by Lecto Fuels. We're using the logs and they're great. Um, some boats never been higher. Uh, but we're going to give the night bricks a go. The idea being that these are supposed to stay alight and keep warm all night. The instructions are: I think Tony said that they're made of um, compressed, like compressed bark. They look quite dense. Um, so perhaps that's why they last all night. They recommend a warm wood stove. Um, it's not a deal breaker if the stove isn't warm because you just have to put up with a bit of smoke. So, But we've got a warm stove because it has been a bit chilly today, although we've been baking on this boat, and um, we're going to give them a go. We'll use two bricks for one night. Um, we're going to put these in tonight and I'll let you know what it's like in the morning when I get up. Right, so we do have a log on there at the moment, but um, once I close that, that'll do it. So you put the logs in, the, the night bricks in. I'm too scared about burning myself now. Once you've got the night bricks in and they've started to catch, you need to change the airflow so that there's little airflow going in. So close it up pretty much, but not completely closed so that it does need some air to burn. But you close them down um, just to keep them burning slowly through the night. And as I say in the morning, I will show you what we're greeted with when we get up. So Good morning guys. everyone, it is very early. It's probably about six o'clock because if you've never had a puppy, you'll know they don't sleep in. So we're gonna check the fire and see how the light brick got on last night. See, still a light. I'm going to chuck a couple of logs on there now and that will just uh, get going nicely. So, big success. The boat is actually really warm. Let's just check the temperature of the boat. And the boat is uh, 31 degrees. Can't be 31 degrees. And there's frost outside on the grass. CO2 monitor says it's 31 degrees. It's not 31 degrees, but it's warm in here. That's the most important thing. A little bit of an update on the old night bricks that we've been using. We've used them for a few nights now because we've had a couple of nights where the temperature has dropped. And we're really happy with them. Every morning we've got up, there's been um, embers on still in the stove. But also the temperature of the boat has been at like 19, 20, 21 degrees when we're getting up. So yeah, really, really, that like, could be a real game changer for us next winter, uh, especially on those really, really cold nights um, where it's like minuses, I think it will make a big difference. So yeah, really, really pleased with these and yeah, could give them a go next year um, when the winter really kicks in. This is not a paid promotion at all, this is genuinely our um, opinion. Uh, we've used them, I say, we, we struggle to keep the, the coals alight all night. And even if we keep the coals alight all night, the temperature still drops because there's just not enough. There just wasn't enough oomph. I, don't, I know some people use coal cages and we've not tried that yet, but maybe we'll give that a go as well. But we're up to try anything really, um, because we have a nice warm toasty boat when we go to bed. It's nice to get up to a warmish boat in the morning.